Hello, world. All its inhabitants, or at least whomever or whatever might be listening to or watching this video. Greetings, salutations, welcome. Welcome to my little part of the collective. The human collective as a whole, if you will. My little corner of the hive mind, so to speak. Now conjoining and overlapping, communicating with your part of the collective, as it were. I have many topics to touch on, so I will try to be brief, as I know your time is precious, and I do appreciate the moments you've taken to watch. I would ask for you to please take part, share this as much as possible if you find it to your liking. Now with that said, let's get on with it. Some of this you may like, some of it you may not. Take what you can use, disregard the rest. Remember, no one's twisting your arm to watch. So feel free to exit at your convenience, or if you feel the need to criticize, just remember you made the conscious choice to watch, so please include yourself in the criticism. I don't have a uh, oh, flat earth channel anymore, but I stumbled across this information just doing a little bit of research, you know, looking at some companies that are doing some really innovative things with regard to fusion physics and light and photonics. And I stumbled across this 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 company called Ali. A F A L E. Somebody sent me a link, you know, to uh, something like this that was put up on a YouTube channel and I you know, decided to look at the background of it because I thought it was pretty cool. I had talked about artificial stars uh, before, put up a few photos regarding an artificial sun, but this, this really blew my fucking mind because this company, which is based out of Japan, they're public. They're a publicly known company that created this technology so we got to automatically assume that if they came out with this this year or last year, this technology is at least maybe 50 years old, 50 years old or more, okay? That's what we have to assume. We got to assume that whatever we see that's real cool, that looks really advanced, it comes out within the past decade, it's at least the governments have been using it and had this technology 30, 40, 50 years ago, okay? It's interesting, people. you got to see this. This company, Ale, they got something called uh, Project, the Appearance. And if you look at this, they create these different types of stars and light. And they say, this is how it works. In a laboratory setting, our artificial shooting stars have already achieved an apparent magnitude of minus one. Even Cirrus, the brightest star that can be observed in the sky, has an apparent magnitude of minus 1.5. There's no doubt that artificial shooting stars by Ali can clearly be seen anywhere in the evening city. Even in the city. And this is crazy, people. Look at this. You can create a distant star which people claim they see in telescopes, you don't really see the color, but just imagine this. This shit that NASA's putting out and all these other, the European Space Agency, all these space telescopes, they put out this and they create these, these photos <laughs> and these videos to give us these, these visions and views of 
what it looks like in the universe. And here we have this company that says, oh, shit, we can create the same thing artificially. <laughs> this is crazy. I mean, come on. They can create the sun, man. And look, look how they create the colors. How do we turn a shooting star into different colors? As one learns in high school science classes, when a substance burns, the flame emits a specific color. This is called the flame reaction. By loading our satellite with various materials, we are able to turn our shooting stars into any color. Hey, just name it, man. What kind of colors you want to see? You want to see hot pink? You want to see blue? You want to see baby blue? You want to see uh, China red? You know, just tell us what you want to see. We'll put it up in the sky for you, man. So you can see it all night. People can shoot all kinds of photos with it and say, hey, I saw an alien aircraft, or I saw a meteor go by, or I saw a shooting star. Bullshit! You didn't you just see what you thought you saw. <laughs> what you saw was created by this company called Ale. Ale Company Limited. Come on, man. Lithium, natrium, potassium, rubidium, cesium, <laughs> calcium, strontium, barium, copper. Look at, the, look at the different colors, man. Speed and distance. Our shooting star travels slower and longer across the sky than a natural shooting star. This makes it Sounds possible to enjoy the spectacle for a longer period of time. <laughs> Damn, dude. You gotta be fucking kidding me. No, I, no, I'm not. Let me take that back. No. They're not kidding us. They've been doing this shit for over 50 years, man. <laughs> they have been fucking creating shit in the sky. Now you can't believe a damn thing you see at nighttime in the fucking sky. You can't believe the fucking moon is there. You can't believe that that's the real fucking sun. You can't believe that those are the fucking constellations that you call the Tropic of Capricorn, the fucking Aquarius, or Gemini. All that shit. The Big Dipper, Orion's Belt. All that shit could be fake. All that shit could be fake. Look at this, people. They can create all of this shit. They can create all of it. I mean, this is crazy. Let's go to how it works. Let's see what they say about how this shit works. This is bizarre, man. This totally... You keep doing flat earth videos. This blows the fucking flat earth clean out of the fucking water. Forget about the earth being fucking flat. We already know that shit. Now, we really blow the fucking doors off this fucking movement. Really blow the fucking doors off this movement. Because ain't a goddamn thing you see in the sky is real. It can't be. If this company exists, none of that shit you see in the sky is can be real. How it's creating, whatever energy they say it's creating, who fucking knows, man? Who knows at this point how it works? Process of replicating the shooting star. A natural shooting star occurs when a particle in space with the size of a few millimeters enters the atmosphere and burns brightly through a process called plasma emission. Our goal is to artificially recreate this process. We will launch a satellite loaded with about 500 to 1,000 source particles that become ingredients for a shooting star. When the satellite stabilizes in orbit, we will discharge the particles using a specially designed device on board. The particles will travel about one-third of the way around the Earth and into the atmosphere. It will then begin plasma emission and begin a shooting star. In the Sky Canvas project, Numerous source particles can be continuously emitted, which allows us to create not only a single shooting star, but a real meteor shower. Damn! <laughs> you see all this shit coming out of the sky, ain't a fucking thing hitting the fucking ground. Nothing. Nothing ain't hitting the ground. So, I'm thinking back to all those times they said that there was going to, the news media says, yeah, tonight you'll be able to see the, the asshole meteor shower or the the Buck Rogers, you know, comet or whatever the... F oh, man. That's fucking crazy. The media has been even been duped. They dumb as that shit is anyway. Or they're going along with it. They're going along with it knowing that this shit is all artificial. This company's got to make money somehow. Call up the media. Call them up and says, hey, we saw some uh, meteor shark heading our way in a telescope. And then they end up calling this company and says, hey, we need you to create a meteor shower over uh, Kansas because people are going to be watching tonight. And we're going to make a lot of money from this shit. Target altitude and area. Our service can provide a shooting star in all parts of the world. A shooting star burns brightly across the sky at an altitude of about 60 to 80 kilometers. Now, guess what? 
60 to 80 kilometers. At 80 kilometers, that's where the Department of Defense says that's where space begins. 262,000 feet above the surface of the Earth. That's high enough where you believe, hey, that shit's real. That's in, I'm looking at space, man. Shooting stars are flying through space. Bullshit, they are. At ground level, this can be observed in an extremely wide area with a radius of approximately 100 kilometers or a diameter of approximately 200 kilometers. The area is 400 times wider than a fireworks bursting at an altitude of 500 meters. In the greater Tokyo area, an audience of approximately 30 million people can simultaneously enjoy the shooting star. Look at this shit, bro. And guess what, people? You want to hear something else? This model you see? This fucking model you see? This flat Earth. They're using the flat Earth model. That's this measurement. They're using the fucking flat Earth model. Check that shit out. Look at this. Airplanes, 10 kilometers. Balloons, 25 kilometers. And they're operating between 60 and 80 kilometers. This is where the satellites are shooting everything. So I have to add, here's the next question. Everybody thinks that shit is all happening in free space, in vacuum in space. Bullshit it is. Look where this is. Ain't no damn satellite traveling in space. Microgravity is 60 to 80 kilometers. That's fucking atmosphere up there. That's crazy, man. This is weird, weird, weird. This strange shit, man. This one you thought you seen it all. I seen it now. The Japanese man are creating a fucking celestial light show. What would happen to the satellite after the mission? In order for you satellites to not become debris, space trash, we follow the international regulation to ensure that it's combusted by entering the atmosphere within the next 25 years. Damn, 25 years. In this case, the U satellite itself will become a very large shooting star. Damn, they, they're talking about biodegradable, man. <laughs> <laughs> so this thing shoots out artificial stars, shooting stars, right? And then in 25 years, it becomes a giant fucking looking meteor that also becomes another shooting star. There ain't no evidence. Talk about crime scene fucking cleanup. <laughs> crime scene cleanup. Automatic. Is there any danger of a shooting star particle colliding other objects in space, satellites, or debris, and creating more debris? Uh, no. We are working with relevant organizations for ensuring space safety. Joint Space Operations Center, operated by the U.S. Strategic Command's Joint Functional Component Command for Space, provides a database which tracks all satellites and debris in space. Now, how did I know the fucking U.S. was going to be involved in this shit? Because that's where they got the technology from. 50 to 60 to 70 fucking years ago. Provides a database. Based on this database, we have developed a software that calculates the probability of our particles colliding with other objects. The particles will not be discharged unless safety is confirmed. In a rare case that there remains a question in safety based on the simulation, we will abort the discharge to prevent a possible disaster. <laughs> disaster, my ass. They're just fucking particles, man. That's all they are. This is crazy, dude. This is crazy. Z, crazy, 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 crazy. How do I stumble across this kind of shit, man? Ale, the future of entertainment in space. <laughs> Motherfucker, bro. Ah, uh, you know what, people? People out there in the flat earth, man, have fun. I mean, really do. Have some motherfucking fun because this shit is funny as hell this is funny as hell and all of you doing videos out there you are definitely gonna have to fucking change everything that you've been saying in your videos you're gonna have to change it all all of that shit your whole model is fucked up if you've been focusing on the sky if you think stars and comets and the sun and all that other shit is real you just fucking you got to clean the fucking slate and start over. You got to start over. And this is the company that caused you fucking to start over and potentially losing fucking subscribers. <laughs> Good luck, people. Have fun. So. So there you go. <laughs> That's funny than a motherfucker, boy. That yeah, is yeah. funny as hell. I'm telling you, man, when I 
when I found that shit and I went looking in it, looking into it, I couldn't believe it, bro. I said, hell no. I ain't never looking up in the sky again and saying, ooh, ah, look at that. Look at, you know. I mean, like, yeah, whatever. I can do that. <laughs> yeah, and, and, yeah. and, you know, here's the thing. Albert and I were looking at how much this shit costs to do, like, one of those light shows. It's nine. <laughs> it's one million yen, dude. For 10 grand, they can, they can send one shooting star for you and shit. Put your name on that motherfucker, boy. Say, hey, what's up, Robert? <laughs> <laughs> Dude, for, for like $10 million, you figure this, right? Think about how much money the United States gives Japan in foreign aid, right? And then think they for $10, $20 million, they can get them the fake shit in the sky. Oh, yeah. Now, oh, yeah. if you're in the U.S., you're not going to go searching for any company or anywhere where somebody got like a light strobe fucking on the ground pointing it at the sky. You ain't gonna see shit happen in Japan. They're saying they can put shit up in Tokyo and 30 million people can see that shit. They say they can do this light show anywhere in the world. Anywhere in the world, bro. Yep. Anyway. That's fucking crazy. And if you think about the time zones, right? In New York, when it's nighttime, right? Three hours before after that, before that, it's daytime in California. So people in New York going to see the night show, and then three hours later, people in California, they're going to see something different. Or they might not see the shit at all. Right. They might not see it at all. But it's crazy that they could do this shit everywhere, dude. They making a lot of fucking money doing this, man. They're making a shitload of money doing it. Especially, Especially because, because to, to do one star. Imagine star. if you want to do like... Do like, like better. Better. Yeah, exactly. I mean, when you talk about a... When you talk about a meteor shower, right? Creating a meteor shower, you probably talking about maybe 10, 20, 30 fucking meteors flying through the sky, right? Yeah. And everybody can see the shit. Let's say you got like 50, 100 of those fucking things, right? <laughs> Dude, think about how much money that shit. I mean, you got to figure if a government wants to create a fucking meteor show, they're getting a fucking government discount. <laughs> how much like, you to buy like 100 of them? Yeah, they're like, hey, listen, man, we'll, we'll give you, hey, for every 100 stars you want us to fly by, we, we'll give you a 20% discount. What do, what do you think? That's a good deal, right? Oh, yeah. You know, we'll oh, get yeah. people believing in your fucking bullshit-ass space program. We'll get, you, we'll get people to see the, the ISS and all kinds of crazy shit flying in the sky that they can't positively identify. Basically, what they're saying is that this technology has dual use, bro. They Not only are they creating stars, you better believe they can create every fucking thing else you can see on the telescope. You better believe that shit. Everything else you see in the sky on the telescope, if you want to see Mars, fucking Venus, Saturn, fucking the moon, they can create that shit. They can create it, bro. Now, I'm not going to say that this shit has been going on for like 100, 200 years, but come on, bro. I mean, really? Really? <laughs> Pretty soon they're going to do like supernovas, right? <laughs> I mean, that's yeah, exactly. Then they're going to say, like, hey, um, we just caught a glimpse of uh, Haley's Comet come by. The bullshit you did. <laughs> you didn't find Haley's Comet, man. <laughs> hey, let me call up Ale. Let me find out when when who just paid them a fucking shitload of money to show a comet fly by. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I mean, it's crazy. It's crazy, dude. It's absolutely crazy they can do that. I mean, I I mean, we all knew that they could do that shit, but I mean, when you think about it. You got the proof now. You got the fucking proof. Yep. You got the proof, dude. It's right there on that company's fucking website, man. And there's somebody saying, too, they're doing the shit in Antarctica. I, hell yeah, they're doing the shit in Antarctica. There ain't nobody there to see them put that shit up in the sky. <laughs> nobody can see. Hey, that's where it's coming from. Man, they got people. It's a fucking magic show, bro. It's just one, it's been one big motherfucking magic show for God knows how long, bro. <laughs> Who knows what, what the fuck they were seeing in the time of the Egyptians and shit. And, and Galileo and all those other, Newton and shit. Who knows what they were doing back then? I was talking to a guy who was breaking down for me the word pyramid. The word pyramid, the first word, pyra, 
is, is, is the root word of pyro. Mid means middle. This cat, this dude's telling me this possibility that they had something inside those pyramids and the way they're configured and constructed, they fired some sort of plasma beam inside all of all three of these things, shot it up in the sky, and they manufactured the sun. I was like, oh man, that's crazy, dude. But then when I see this, this, this company, I'm like, shit, talk about sky's the limit, bro. <laughs> they put the they coined the term, man. You cannot, after seeing this company, people, you cannot believe shit you see in the sky anymore. The only thing you probably could believe is the birds that are flying. <laughs> maybe, but maybe even those birds are fucking some kind of new drone or some shit. Because, I mean, here it is. I live in Colombia, right? And you would think, as fantastic the weather is here, you would see bird shit on cars every fucking where. On the rooftops, everything. On the railings, on the balconies. Dude, you don't see no bird shit anywhere. And on top of that, I don't see a lot of motherfucking birds flying in this city. Eight million people. No birds. They got some, they got three colorful ass aguacate um, uh, parrots that fly from the Medellin Zoo, fly around the city. They don't ever fly out of the city. They just fly around. You only see those three birds and a bunch of white doves that fly back and forth from one end of the city to the other. But you don't see no other birds, man. Watch out for Nibiru. Uh-oh. I mean, it's crazy, dude. This <laughs> is crazy that I found this, man. It was crazy. And, he, and let me tell you something. That can't be the only company that exists either. There's got to be more companies. I think so. But the patent, I think, is patent pending. I, I think that well, means... Yeah, I mean, yeah, they got the patent, but you better believe they're licensing that shit out. Oh, yeah. Especially. People are paying. They got companies paying for that. says, hey, we want to make some money. You know, yeah, we want to work with you. You know, maybe get some sort of franchise license or some shit. <laughs> we're gonna have the company party. We're gonna have some shooting stars instead of fireworks. Dude, dude, that's fucking crazy, man. I'm telling you, the, the technology you see out, whatever shit you you think that's new, that shit has existed for more than ten years. They just now letting the public have access to that shit. Come on, man. The U.S. Strategic Space Command. They gotta coordinate this shit with them. You better believe they gave that shit to them. And they gave it to them because they're on, they're on the other side of the flat plane and they didn't have to worry about that shit being disclosed in the, in American media. They got the weather people fooled. They got everybody fooled, dude. <laughs> and people who are putting out flat earth channels, if they've been focusing on the sky and saying, well, hey, the sun, we were using the Tropic of Cancer and, you know, this star and this constellation to measure how the moon moves. And man, fuck all that bullshit, man. Fuck all that bullshit. The tropical cancer that you're seeing could be fucking artificial. That should have moved to another direction next week <laughs> based on somebody paying another $10 million to create another light show. <laughs> Come on, man. You can't rely on none of that shit. You can't rely on any of it. They say that, hey, the flat earth is all about exposing who's behind it, right? That's what everybody's saying, right? Right. It's, it's trying to expose who's behind it. Well, guess what? We just found a fucking company who's behind that shit. And yep. we found another U.S. company, U.S. Strategic Command, Space Command, who also is behind that shit. So start looking at this U.S. Strategic Space Command. Start looking at this Japanese company. Start looking for companies outside the United States that is involved in this shit. It's crazy. If you're doing flat earth videos, you got to clean this. Man, just delete all your shit and start over based on that video you just saw. I mean, damn, I'm thinking about doing a GoFundMe campaign or a Kickstarter campaign, raise $20 million so I can create a fucking another son and freak people out. <laughs> <laughs> I, I tell them, hey, yeah, this is when I want you to put it up. I want you to put it up in 2018 and make it look like another planet. Right. Nibiru. And then, want, and then after that, I want my face to pop up on it and be like, booyah, I'm here, people. Where my people at? I'm coming to get you and freak everybody out, dude. <laughs> Raised $20 million, man. I create a crazy-ass light show with a bunch of spaceships. You know, we were playing some fucking James Brown. Papa's got a brand new bag shit. <laughs> people would go insane. Dude, I swear to God, dude. I'll have people coming back dressed as Elvis and fucking James Brown and John F. Kennedy. I'll be bringing all those fuckers back, man, and spaceships and shit. People would be like, oh, my God. And, and yeah, have Jesus Christ with us, too. 
<laughs> Jesus Christ, Moses, Abraham, Prophet Muhammad, bring them all back. Be like, yeah, here we come. We're coming down. We we said we were coming back. The Messiah is coming back. Man, dude, the whole world as we know it is one big motherfucking cartoon, dude. <laughs> it's a fucking cartoon. I mean, I really think that some of these physicists, Dr. James Gates, do wrote the theory on uh, string theory. He said there's code in string theory. He says we really live in a matrix. Dude, I'm starting to believe this cat. Right. I be I'm really believing that we be li we're living inside some fucking damn computer game. I'm in the wrong business. I need to start playing damn computer games, dude. You got to go talk to Mark Sargent. <laughs> That's crazy, dude. The world can't be real. None of this. When people says, hey, you need to get with reality. Reality? Reality? Do you fucking know what reality is? Do you really know? Not really. I mean, we you don't. There ain't, ain't no such thing as real this, real that. This shit is all fake, man. It's all bullshit. And for hey, people who just coming in right now, I want to show this shit one more time. <laughs> I'm going to show it one more time, and then after that, I need to end the, the live chat because I wasn't supposed I wasn't didn't want to do this for a long time anyway. But um I'm gonna do it for everybody again so they can see this shit, man. You gotta get a second view at this. I know you guys are gonna replay the video and everything like that, but I want you to see it live again. I want you to share it with everybody because this is crazy. This is crazy. I couldn't hold my composure, man. I just couldn't. I couldn't do it, man. Yeah, you were pretty excited there. <laughs> this is wild, wild, man. When I saw this, I mean, Al, when we pulled this up and I saw this, I was like, no way. Really? Is it really like that? Or are they really showing us this? I mean, they, they literally just handing it. They're just handing it over. Yeah, They're like, yep. okay, here you go. This is what you wanted to see. We're going to show it to you again. Hey, what's up, people? Hey, hang on for a second. It's Robert, Robert Pisano. Damn, I got to cancel. I don't channel. have a uh, flat earth channel anymore, but hang on, hang on, hang on. I stumbled across this information. Hang on, let me let me do this. Let me do the share screen, people, real quick. It's only about a cup. It's only about fourteen minutes, I think. How many minutes is it? Yeah, it's only twelve minutes, people. So I just asked for like maybe thirteen minutes of your time again, so you can all see this. I'll do the share screen so you can all see it. Give everybody a good laugh. Presenting to everybody. Let me know when you can all see it. And here we go, people. Hey, what's up, people? This is Robert, Robert Pisano. I don't have a uh, flat earth channel anymore, but I stumbled across this information. Just doing a little bit of research, you know, looking at some companies that are doing some really innovative things with regard to fusion physics and light and photonics and i stumbled across this 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 company called ali a f a l e somebody sent me a link you know to uh something like this that was put up on a youtube channel and i you know decided to look at the background of it because i thought it was pretty cool i had talked about artificial stars uh before put up a few photos regarding the artificial sun but this this really blew my fucking mind because this company which is based out of japan they're public they're a publicly known company that created this technology so we got to automatically assume that if they came out with this this year or last year this technology is at least maybe 50 years old 50 years old or more okay that's what we have to assume. We got to assume that whatever we see that's real cool, that looks really advanced, that comes out within the past decade, it's at least the governments have been using it and had this technology 30, 40, 50 years ago. Okay? It's interesting, people. You got to see this. This company, Ale, they got something called uh, Project The Appearance. And if you look at this, they create these different types of stars and light. And they say, this is how it works. In a laboratory setting, 
our artificial shooting stars have already achieved an apparent magnitude of minus one. Even Cirrus, the brightest star that can be observed in the sky, has an apparent magnitude of minus 1.5. There's no doubt that artificial shooting stars by Ali can clearly be seen anywhere in the evening city, even in the city. And this is crazy, people. Look at this. You can create a distant star, which people claim they see in telescopes. You don't really see the color. But just imagine this. This shit that NASA's putting out and all these other, the European Space Agency, all these space telescopes, they put out this and they create these, these photos <laughs> and these videos to give us these, these visions and views of what it looks like in the universe. And here we have this company that says, oh shit, we can create the same thing artificially. <laughs> it's crazy. I mean, come on, they can create the sun, man. And look, look how they create the colors. How do we turn a shooting star into different colors? As one learns in high school science classes, when a substance burns, the flame emits a specific color. This is called the flame reaction. By loading our satellite with various materials, we are able to turn our shooting stars into any color. Hey, just name it, man. What kind of colors you want to see? You want to see hot pink? You want to see blue? You want to see baby blue? You want to see uh, China red? You know, just tell us what you want to see. We'll put it up in the sky for you, man. So you can see it all night. People can shoot all kinds of photos where they say, hey, I saw an alien aircraft, or I saw a meteor go by, or I saw a shooting star. Bullshit! You just, you just see what you thought you saw. What you saw was created by this company called Ale. Ale Company Limited. Come on, man. Lithium, natrium, potassium, rubidium, cesium, calcium, strontium, barium, copper. Look at the look at the different colors, man. Speed and distance. Our shooting star travels slower and longer across the sky than a natural shooting star. This makes it possible for more people to enjoy the spectacle for a longer period of time. Damn, dude. You got to be fucking kidding me. No, I no, I'm not. Let me take that back. No. They not kidding us. They've been doing this shit for over 50 years, man. They have been fucking creating shit in the sky. Now you can't believe a damn thing you see at nighttime in the fucking sky. You can't believe the fucking moon is there. You can't believe that that's the real fucking sun. You can't believe that those are the fucking constellations that you call the Tropic of Capricorn or fucking Aquarius or Gemini. All that shit. The Big Dipper, Orion's Belt. All that shit could be fake. All that shit could be fake. Look at this, people. They can create all of this shit. They can create all of it. I mean, this is crazy. Let's go to how it works. Let's see what they say about how this shit works. This is bizarre, man. This totally... You keep doing flat earth videos. This blows the fucking flat earth clean out of the fucking water. Forget about the earth being fucking flat. We already know that shit. Now, we really blow the fucking doors off this fucking movement. Really blow the fucking doors off this movement. Because ain't a goddamn thing you see in the sky is real. It can't be. If this company exists, none of that shit you see in the sky is can be real. How it's creating, whatever energy they say is creating, who fucking knows, man? Who knows at this point how it works? Process of replicating the shooting star. A natural shooting star occurs when a particle in space with the size of a few millimeters enters the atmosphere and burns brightly through a process called plasma emission. Our goal is to artificially recreate this process. We will launch a satellite loaded with about 500 to 1,000 source particles that become ingredients for a shooting star. When the satellite stabilizes in orbit, we will discharge the particles using a specially designed device on board. The particles will travel about one-third of the way around the Earth and into the atmosphere. It will then begin plasma emission and begin a shooting star. In the Sky Canvas project, numerous source particles can be continuously emitted, which allows us to create not only a single shooting star, but a real meteor shower. Damn! <laughs> you see all this shit coming out of the sky, ain't a fucking thing hitting the fucking ground. Nothing. Nothing ain't hitting the ground. So I'm thinking back to all those times they said that there was gonna the news 
media who says, yeah, tonight you'll be able to see the, the asshole meteor shower or the the Buck Rogers, you know, comet or whatever the f- Oh, man. That's fucking crazy. The media has been even been duped. They dumb as that shit is anyway. Or they're going along with it. They're going along with it knowing that this shit is all artificial. This company's got to make money somehow. Call up the media. Call them up and says, hey, we saw some uh, meteor shark heading our way in a telescope. And then they end up calling this company and says, hey, we need you to create a meteor shower over uh, Kansas because people are going to be watching tonight. And we're going to make a lot of money from this shit. Target altitude and area. Our service can provide a shooting star in all parts of the world. A shooting star burns brightly across the sky at an altitude of about 60 to 80 kilometers. Now, guess what? 60 to 80 kilometers? At 80 kilometers, that's where the Department of Defense says that's where space begins. 262,000 feet above the surface of the earth. That's high enough where you believe, hey, that shit's real. That's in, I'm looking at space, man. Shooting stars are flying through space. Bullshit, they are. At ground level, this could be observed in an extremely wide area with a radius of approximately 100 kilometers or a diameter of approximately 200 kilometers. The area is 400 times wider than a firework bursting at an altitude of 500 meters. In the greater Tokyo area, an audience of approximately 30 million people can simultaneously enjoy the shooting star. Look at this shit, bro. And guess what, people? You want to hear something else? This model you see? This fucking model you see? This flat Earth. They're using the flat Earth model. That's this measurement. They're using the fucking flat Earth model. Check that shit out. Look at this. Airplanes, 10 kilometers. Balloons, 25 kilometers. And they're operating between 60 and 80 kilometers. This is where the satellites are shooting everything. So I have to add, here's the next question. Everybody thinks that shit is all happening in free space, in vacuum in space. Bullshit it is. Look where this is. Ain't no damn satellite traveling in space. Microgravity at 60 to 80 kilometers. That's fucking atmosphere up there. That's crazy, man. This is weird, weird, weird. This strange shit, man. Just when you thought you seen it all. I seen it now. The Japanese man are creating a fucking celestial light show. What would happen to the satellite after the mission? In order for you satellites to not become debris, space trash, we follow the international regulation to ensure that it's combusted by entering the atmosphere within the next 25 years. Damn, 25 years. In this case, the U satellite itself will become a very large shooting star. Damn, they, they're talking about biodegradable, man. <laughs> so this thing shoots out artificial stars, shooting stars, right? And then in 25 years, it becomes a giant fucking looking meteor that also becomes another shooting star. They ain't no evidence. Talk about crime scene fucking cleanup. <laughs> crime scene cleanup. Automatic. Is there any danger of a shooting star particle colliding other objects in space, satellites, or debris, and creating more debris? Uh, no. We are working with relevant organizations for ensuring space safety. Joint Space Operations Center, operated by the U.S. Strategic Command's Joint Functional Component Command for Space, provides a database which tracks all satellites and debris in space. Now, how did I know the fucking U.S. was going to be involved in this shit? Because that's where they got the technology from. 50 to 60 to 70 fucking years ago. Provides a database. Based on this database, we have developed a software that calculates the probability of our particles colliding with other objects. The particles will not be discharged unless safety is confirmed. In a rare case that there remains a question in safety based on the simulation, we will abort the discharge to prevent a possible disaster. <laughs> disaster, my ass. They're just fucking particles, man. That's all they are. This is crazy, dude. This is crazy. Z, crazy, 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 crazy. How do I stumble across this kind of shit, man? Ale, the future of entertainment in space. <laughs> Motherfucker, bro. Ah, uh, you know what, people? You people out there in the flat earth, man, have fun. I mean, really do. Have some motherfucking fun because this shit is funny as hell. This is funny as hell. All of you doing videos out there, you are definitely going to have to fucking change everything that you've been saying in your videos. 
You're going to have to change it all. All of that shit. Your whole model is fucked up if you've been focusing on the sky. If you think stars and comets and the sun and all that other shit is real, you just fucking, you got to clean the fucking slate and start over. You got to start over. And this is the company that caused you fucking to start over and potentially losing fucking subscribers. <laughs> Good luck, people. Have fun. So that's it, and I hope everybody enjoyed that shit. Man, I tell you, it's it, it's it's comical. It's kind. Of, Victoria says, "What she said? I want proof. proof. The Earth is flat according to many. The NASA Doc Robert has shown. Okay, it is flat. All right, so people, so listen, I I didn't want to do this too long. This this live hang. I just wanted to show everybody this whole thing. You can go back to the video." And, um, you know, watch as many times as you want. If anybody's got a new um, video title they want me to put on this, I'm open to recommendations. I'll change the title of this if you need me to. Okay? So you can see it for yourself. And But as far as reshooting the video, I ain't going to reshoot it because that's how I speak. That's how I express myself. I don't care what anybody else think about it. I think it's funny as hell. But um, you guys enjoy, all right? This wasn't going to be a long hangout. I just wanted to share that. And, um, you know, I hope you guys have a good night. Got to give my little baby boy his bath. And uh, call it a night, people. Um, Albert, man, if you're still in here, let me see here. I, I can put the link up for people if you guys just want to still hang out or some stuff like that. Oh, no, you can end it. End it. You sure? The chat will still stay there. As long as nobody goes away from it, it'll stay there for a while. Oh, it'll stay there for a while? Mm-hmm. Okay, because if anybody wanted to come in, you know, I got to get my baby boy a shower. They can come in, take control. No, nah, nah, I ain't going to let them take control. Yeah, no, just crazy on that. yeah, I'll get a copyright strike or some crazy shit. And then <laughs> <whole thing. laughs> no, no, nah, nah, hell with that. I'll stop it. I'll stop it. Hey, people, for those who came by, I really appreciate it. You know, I've studied logic and philosophy because I think I have a solid grasp of it. What is he saying? What do you think about logic? Have you actually done it? Yeah, this company has actually done this. They did it, Victoria, they did a show in Dubai, okay, last year. They actually created a light show for Dubai. There's a video of it, okay? There's a video of it on their website. Just go to their website and you'll see a video where they created this shit in Dubai. Yeah, they did it in Dubai. I don't know where else they did it, but if you don't see any other videos of where they actually did this, that's because what they probably were assigned to do, they had to keep the shit quiet. <laughs> but they did do one over Dubai. I don't know why they would do that, but but uh, this company, they probably doing stuff for governments because why would you want... Think about this. Why would you create a company to create artificial media showers and shooting stars and shit like that i mean come on i mean we, we living on a flat earth everybody's supposed to be able to see this shit naturally why would you need to create it artificially it just don't make any damn sense at all i mean you got companies out there that produce holographic images in the sky and you know it's holographic because you you can see the stuff from the ground but i mean really they putting a satellite up there launching these artificial stars we're looking in telescopes thinking, ooh, ah, look at that. Oh, my God. Did you see that shooting star? Wow, cool. And you know what? The next time I see this kind of shit, I'm going to look at people and I'm going to start laughing my ass off. Because I'm going to be like, you think that's real, huh? You think that shooting star is real right now? You have no fucking idea. <laughs> oh, man, this is crazy, people. It's been a good night. You guys take care of yourselves. I'm going I'm to lock this down, shut it down, and uh, I really appreciate it. Peace out.